Hello! I'm Kara and I got Marcus behind the camera. <laughs> and I am just really excited to be here with y'all today because I'm going to show you a couple recipes that I've been tinkering with for the past couple months. Um, they're delicious, extremely nutritious, raw, and um, pretty darn fast and easy to make. So the first one I'm going to do is cauliflower with cheese. Cauliflower, in my opinion, is the new potato. I also make potatoes, mashed potatoes with cauliflower. Uh, mine is raw though. I use, I blend it in a blender, cauliflower with uh, cashews. It's really delicious too, if you, as long as you get the right ratio cauliflower to cashew. So for the cauliflower and cheese, we're just gonna need a few ingredients. We're gonna have a organic cauliflower, um, an onion, salt and pepper, olive oil, cashew, and some spices. The spices I'm going to use to, um, for the cheese is going to be rosemary, um, maybe a little sage, garlic powder, and onion powder. And that's it. So um, without further ado, do, do I just start doing things? Oh, okay. Okay, so we have the cauliflower here. I'm just going to quickly Cut it into little flowerettes. All right, so we're just gonna pop this. So we have the cup bowl full of cauliflower, then I'm just gonna add a little, uh, drizzle some olive oil in it, just enough to not make it dry out, and then a little salt and some pepper. And then I'm gonna lay it out on a dehydrator sheet. And I'm gonna pop it in the dehydrator for like uh, two hours at 118. Then I'm gonna work on the onion purple onion or white onion, whichever onion. Same thing. Pop it in the bowl, add a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And then we'll pop these in a tray and dehydrate them at the same time for the same amount of time, just until they're soft, just like the cauliflower. And we'll pop them in the dehydrator. All right, so while um, the onions and the, and the cauliflower are dehydrating, I'm gonna work on the cheese. The cheese consists of, now the cheese is where all the flavor is going to be. Well, most of it. The cheese consists of uh, soaked cashews, about a cup, half a garlic clove, uh, garlic powder, here we go with the spices now. Garlic powder is great, onion powder, got some fresh rosemary in there, a little sage, some thyme, little salt, pepper, a little olive oil because it's savory. And here I go. I'm going to make a nice uh, creamy cheese out of the cashews for the cauliflower. I'm going to start out on low and work my way up, starting with a little bit of water just to get the blend, just to get the nuts uh, blended and creamy. And then once the nuts have been all blended, then I'm going to add a little bit more water to make it not as thick.
My God. Okay. Oh, I turned a friend on to this cashew cheese. She wasn't aware that um, you can make uh, cream out of nuts. And she now puts cashew cheese on everything. Salads and sandwiches and desserts and this and that. Okay, so our cauliflower has been in the dehydrator for a couple hours. And it is all nice and soft. Oh my God. Oh my God. It looks so good. But I know how good my, I'm salivating because I know how good it tastes. Oh my God, I could eat this plain without anything, but. And then we have our gorgeous onions. These minced onions in the dehydrator, to me, I, they're like, it, it, it's like bouillon. It's so flavorful and tasty and delicious. And, um, okay, so into this bowl, I'm gonna put the, the, the uh, dehydrated cauliflower, the softened cauliflower into the bowl, back into the bowl now. And then um, I'm going to add, this is purely optional. I don't really like it, but I guess it's a big deal. A lot of people do like it. Uh, dates. Marcus loves them. Marcus loves them. <laughs> he likes sweet stuff. I don't have as that big of a sweet tooth, thank gosh. But um, so we have uh, some dates and then some uh, pine nuts work lovely in there. And then we're just gonna use a little bit of the cream or however much you like. You could, you could have it swimming in cream. But just like a, or however, it's good however you do this. So now I'm gonna serve it and uh, put a little bit in a bowl. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to top it, sprinkle it with some of those gorgeous, yummy, delicious onions. And for extra credit, I mean, it's, it's beautiful like this. A little salt, a little pepper. What more could you want? Well, if you still want to keep going, some delicious uh, cilantro, some fresh cilantro. Maybe a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. And that's it. I don't know what more I could do to this um, non-dairy, vegan, 100% raw, and 200% satisfying.